I'm Amanda Nixon, I'm from Flinders University and I work in the library. I think it's important to say that to begin with, in the library we didn't have a project. The original ANS projects um, at Flinders were based in two faculties, so we went directly to researchers, so that was fantastic. We had direct researcher engagement. In order to build communication between those projects and to have more of a centralised um, overview of them, we set up a steering committee or an advisory group, I can't remember what it's called, and the library was invited onto that. So that's where I came in, although I did get to sort of talk a little bit about the original setup of some of the project proposals. It enabled communication so that people weren't just working by themselves. We had the data capture project that was uh, responsible for the metadata store. The other two projects were dependent on the metadata store, so it was important to have a level of coordination. It was also terrific to get other stakeholders involved that may not have been involved at the lower level of actually doing the work in the project. So we had the research office involved. Um, we had what was then the acting Pro Vice Chancellor of ICTS. Uh, so the library was there. We had a lot of people who needed to be there in the room to talk about it. What ultimately happened through that process is that it started to drive a wider e-research agenda at Flinders. It was a good place to start up some ideas which then started to percolate outside of that advisory group. Uh, it ended up in a proposal to set up an area who would have responsibility for e research and would have a coordinating role with all those existing resources that were already in the institution. Flinders, like many or most other institutions, already spent a lot of resourcing into supporting e research. We already had high performance computing. Um, we had collaboration tools, we had the demand there, but we didn't have one place that could bring things together and encourage use of those resources more widely across the institution. Um, in e-research at Flinders there will be a responsibility for the Metadata Stores project, so we're hoping that within that year to set up, hopefully, a very useful, with a large uptake, uh, research data management planning tool that will lead through into Redbox, that's our chosen metadata store solution. And then because we've got that wider agenda, start looking at other storage options as well. Mm -hmm. So the work that's happening with Redbox is informed by stuff that we're also looking at in terms of RDSI, a local node, other storage options as well. So it's not just concentrating on what we're doing with the metadata, it's also going into a wider storage solution yeah. as well for researchers. So we chose Redbox because um, it was a standalone solution. We were coming at it from a small project, not a centralised project mm. in a faculty. It was something that could stand alone and then we could build on that. Give me a ring, email me. Cool.